today's excitement. Cheap Chinese little two-stroke scooter. Let's play with it. What do you think, Ginger? You want to ride it? You sit on the front. I'll stand on the back. Here we have a uh, what's called never maintenance, never work on, just ride and abuse toy. So this has no pull start. Uh, the wires are ripped out. No air filter. I worked on this a couple years ago. It came back to me because teenage boys are teenage boys and it's just in disrepair. But I think I'm going to engine swap it for him. I'm going to get rid of the two stroke, give him a four stroke, give him something to ride. A little bit easier on maintenance. Brake problems. Um, I don't know if you can hear this. Oh yeah, the bearings in the front end sound fantastic. And we're going to go from there, just button some stuff up and make this actually work again. So this right here is a Honda four stroke. And this comes off of the, um, it's like the FG 100 and FG 110 tiller. So these are Honda tillers, but they have an Achilles heel of stripping out a little bronze gear. So you can pick these up for pretty dang cheap. This little bronze gear right here uh, strips out and that little gear costs as much as a, costs like three quarters the price of a new tiller. So nobody ever gets them. And these engines pop up all the time. Um, so I looked at the bolt mounting pattern right here. Has a little clutch. This is about, I think it's a hundred millimeters spacing. This looks identical to what's on the other thing. Just this is four stroke, that's two stroke. So we're gonna see if this bolts right up and if I can take this engine that's been sitting in my shed for five, six years and put it back to use. Working on old garbage is fun. Look, we can, we can almost, it's like a quarter of a turn. Every single one, there we go. Hmm. we go just had to pop off the throttle cable but that's it looks pretty dang close to the Honda oh not even gonna measure just gonna ram it yep it's the same. Completely bone dry. Ty put it away and I last started it 9-15 of 2019. So we're going on four years. But it's a Honda, right? Twist it up. There we go. Put that here. I don't like me pinching it like that. Okay, I think there's a primer bulb up right there. Okay, there comes the gas. Put on choke. Two balls. Choke off. What are the chances that the throttle cable is the same? Little nub on there, a little bit shorter, but it looks the same size. See if we can pull it off. It would work, but on this side, I have nothing to hold it. I can make something pretty easy. Those two nuts sat in this little groove to hold the cable. On this one, there's nothing, it's just a cable. This cable is being immensely st stubborn, it's uh, stiff, so it doesn't want to retract by itself. I have this cable luber thing. Slides over the cable, stick your WD-40 or whatever in here. It's supposed to force down. It just never works. It never seals around the end of the cable. So we've got a piece of um, tubing here. And then we have another piece of tubing on the inside. This is just like um, a string trimmer gas fuel line. And so this will slide over the entire thing. Okay. So the whole end of the cable is in there. And then we'll try to put this... See if we can get this straw in there. This one's too thick. We'll use WD-40. There we go. That's in there. 
and let's see so that pressurizes the entire cable and now if I move it not really and now it's coming out the top I got the throttle cable hooked up, but it doesn't want to return easily. It's kind of, you know, even though I've lubed up the cable, it's kind of sticky. So you can't have that. So let's pop this out. I'm going to put a return spring on it. There we go. So that's in there. We have this little spring. This is the bracket off the old carb, um, the mount of the throttle. So I think I'm going to put this here and just, just screw it right to here and then Hook this spring where I think will be a good amount of spring tension. Hook up the key wires to the key switch. This was these are little like flat terminals. I bent it in half, just jammed it in that bullet connector. Doesn't really matter. And you can see I just jammed it under the screw like the original was. We'll zip tie this over here. It's just a, a kill wire. For this key thing, it's almost ready for a test drive, but I got a glaring problem, and that is lack of any rear brakes at all. They're missing, the lever's missing, the cable's missing. Ugh. I got front brakes, though. So I think I'm going to see if I have a cable long enough in my supply and just take the front brakes off and put them on the rear because I'd much rather have rear brakes than front brakes on a uh, essentially like motorcycle type thing. Cable collection. Looks like this is essentially just like a bicycle cable. Um, so don't have a ton of bicycle cable stuff in there, but I do. This is actually uh, that looks too short. That's two cables. We'll find something in here. Oh, there's even a bike lever. Looks identical to the one up there. I guess I don't have all the parts to fix it, but they should be here today. So, lunch break. There you go. Good job. Hopefully you didn't lick the chopstick. Leave it, 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 leave it. Okay, you can get it. Good job. I do not have a cable long enough. I need something about six foot long. And as you can see, I stack them all back in the box and then I tip the box over. That's way it goes. So, what are we gonna do? We waited a day, and overnight we got this. We actually got cable, the actual cable, inside cable. I got plenty of sheaths. You can cut sheaths and uh, like butt sheaths together and make a, as long a sheath as you want, but the cable itself, you can't really. So, ordered four cables that are supposedly about seven foot long for five bucks, and we ordered a rear brake. I could not get the front brake to line up good on the back. And then finally, I'm going to just order another one. Um, we'll go from there. So ordered a whole new brake for, I think this entire caliber was 8 bucks or something. Or it even comes with a second set of brake pads. Hmm. So we got a short cable sheath and another cable sheath right here. And we'll just cut it to length. So I'll just take out the old cable. This one's actually busted off at the end. So let's just take out the old cable out of the inside and then we'll just feed our new one in this one i'm going to cut to the length i need this one i'm not so this one will come up by the handlebars up to the brake lever and this one will come down here and back to the brake oh see that, that slides in there beautifully We can lubricate this before it goes in, but I got that end to cut off. So we can just slide this down into there. The best thing to cut this is a zip wheel. Um, if you try to do it with wire snippers, the coil on the outside will collapse. Little heat shrink. There we go.
Got a little bit of a problem. I filled these up last night, the front and the rear tire, because they were flat, and the back has lost most of its air, and I do not hear the leak. I think these are airless tires, or tubeless, not airless. They're airless tires. No, they're tubeless tires, and so it might be leaking around the rim or something, so I just use this tool to remove the core, and I'm gonna put in a little tire jack. This stuff right here is the best tire sealant I've ever used, because it's like water. It looks like milk. Um, and so it just sits in there for, I think it stays liquid for up to two years, but it permanently seals. And I've done some tests with it and it ends up just, it's like a, makes almost like an inner tube on the inside of the tire, but it cleans up easy too. If you ever take off the tire, people get all worried cause it's, it's actually kind of expensive, but only when you don't realize how little you put in. So this tire right here is going to take, it's like a little syringe thing to get, uh, it says, even for wheelbarrow, like two ounces, which is this much, you know? Um, but this is even smaller in a wheelbarrow tire, so it probably only takes like an ounce. So it doesn't, and that would seal it up future against like anything. So put in an ounce, which is probably way too much even for this. You know, I'm not even going to put in an ounce. I'm going to put half of that. I'll screw it back, the other half back in. You thread it on. And then there I don't got a major puncher it's probably just leaking around the bead or something I'll just squirt the, the remainder back into here the core back in and then just air it up and it will never leak again if you want to see a video on the tire jack I have a whole video just on it showing myself restore like some super dry rotted crack tires It'll take off and get the standstill with me on it. And low. Yeah. Hey, Peter, you want to get on? You want to get on it? What do you think? Don't move. <laughs>